And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I don't often do reviews of books, and I don't know that that's going to uh, change much in the future, but I'm always interested when someone writes a book about games, because there's very few books that are written about board games that aren't a history of Monopoly somehow. But this is a book that has come out recently called Libraries Got Game. It's uh, written by Brian Meyer and Christopher Harris, and it almost reads like a treatise on why you should play board games. Now, the object of the book is to help people who have a library and to get games involved in their library. The book starts out in the first chapters talking about designer games, or as people sometimes call them Euro games because they come from Europe, or the, which is almost a misnomer nowadays because many of these games come from America uh, and, and basically countries all over the world, but they're very different than what you might find in your local store. And so he talks about them and, and how they're different and, and about how to find more information about them. Then he talks about why games are important. And really, he has me here because he really lays out very clearly why we should play these style games, why we should play these rather than you know other things, and why games matter. Uh, if you are a person who wants to use games in some kind of official function and you're having a difficult time convincing other people of that, uh, this book lays it out very clearly saying, look, games are educational and we can use them. In part two of the book, they talk about how games can be implemented into libraries in particular, how that fits in with the library curriculum, but even more importantly, how you can look at the different games and what they teach. Games aren't just about math although they certainly talk about how they teach probability and logic. But they look in here and you could, they talk about history and education and uh, different standards that you can actually take games and put them into line with curriculum standards across the board. They then use a model of a successful uh, library which uses board games and explain how they did it, how they worked with companies to get games, how they lent games out, with missing pieces and how they dealt with these different things. And that's a pretty big deal. And then the, the final part of the book, which is a pretty big chunk of the book, they talk about different board games. And they basically give a bunch of mini reviews and go through different games that are not just educational, but are also fun. And so let's say someone, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you watch my videos and you know about the kind of games I review. But this is a book I would give someone who doesn't know, and they can look here and say, huh, you know, and, and, and the, this is, these are what these games are like. And the selection is amazingly diverse. Because on one page you'll see 1960, the making of a president, we see Battlestar Galactica, they through the ages, werewolf, they have Ticket to Ride, uh, the Duck Duck Go, and there's such a wide variety of different style games. I, I, I felt that this book was very fair, didn't cut out any specific genre. At the end of the book, there's a glossary of game terminology, the different games, how many players, what they teach, and then a list of game publishers and how to get in touch with them. Uh, I, I would say a lot of the information in this book I already knew. Uh, because I'm, I'm in contact with companies, but wow, to have it all in one place like this, I think it's just amazing. It's a, it's a way to show and teach other people. And so, who would I recommend this book to? I'd recommend it, obviously, to anyone who is a librarian trying to get board games in their library. But this game also should be recommended reading for every teacher who is trying to utilize games in the classroom. Because occasionally you'll run across a principal or director who might not understand the positive implications of board games. And this is almost like a doctoral thesis as to why that works. So it's a, it's a thin book. What do we got here? 100 plus pages of reading. Uh, it's sometimes it's technical in the beginning, but it also has lots of good examples. I found it fairly easy to read. And so I'd recommend if you want to spread gaming, if you think gaming is not just fun, and which it is great fun, but also can be used for educational purposes, then get check out Libraries Got Game. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.